Hey guys, how's it going? This is Joey. Welcome to this YouTube channel. Not the best lighting today using uh, my laptop webcam, but that's okay. Let's get out of the meta right here. Because today I'm going to go into my Ubuntu uh, virtual machine and I want to talk about um, Namcon and CTFs. I want to showcase how to answer one of those uh, CTF challenges. This is the Echo Challenge, and it's a pretty interesting one. Uh, I want to show you how I solved it, and actually I needed a write-up to solve it. But anyway, it's going to be a cool little experience, a little, cool little web exploitation. I'm still learning, and hopefully if you guys help, have anything to say, that will immensely help us. Now, shall we start here my Echo? And let's go to the website they gave us. And that's what the website says. There's the echo uh, header and say, all right, what would you have me to say? And I'll, if I just say, um, hello, it goes ahead and repeats what I say. If I say test, it repeats. So if we fire up our terminal right here, you see that it's simulating the echo function in our command line. So if I say echo test, it just says test. Good. So the problem about this is that echo, you can simply pipe it and give it another command such as ls, and that will just um, give everything there is in the directory that you're looking for. So if I go here and say a ls, well, it doesn't like it because it knows I'm using characters that it does not accept because it could break the system. So it says, hey, mate, you seem to be using some characters that make me want to throw it back in your face. Right. So what happens right here is that it recognizes certain characters and it doesn't allow us to use it. So these are, for example, exclamation mark and question mark or asterisks. It, it doesn't allow those. However, there is one character it allows, which is the back uh, back accent if I just try to echo that nothing happens and if I put anything behind it uh, in between it like ABC nothing happens too so that means we can actually shoot commands such as ls and that shows us the directory so that shows us what's inside uh, this web page and then we can see the index.php if we can cat that out I'll just go cat index.php there you go so this is what was inside that index.php file and there is something behind here that is obfuscated by this uh, text box and header to really know what's happening we can do uh, control u and uh, look at the source of this website we can eventually find it here in this line uh, however what I'm gonna do is just use curl so I'm going to navigate to uh, my documents folder. So documents, Namcon. I'm going to make a directory for echo. So let's move there. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to curl. And I want to change this echo name to this command that I just gave it, which is the cat uh, index.php. So I'm going to use in between quotations back accent cat index of php back accent again and i want this to connect with this page does it work okay so it works and oh i did not i did not say that this is equals to echo so echo equals cat index like so that's the command I want to give them and here is the h3 now to make it a bit easier to read what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab fi to print as a string I want to also see the lines and I want it to show me the h3 headers and the slash h3 headers and there you go because the command that it's giving me right here is all inside this h3. So to make this readable, or legible, 
I'm going to go into a JavaScript beautifier that I already have open here, or should have. <laughs> I'm going to paste it here, beautify it, and then just paste it in Sublime. So call index.php. Let's uh, set the syntax to JavaScript. JavaScript. OK. So this is what's happening in that echo text box. First of all, it has a variable um, to echo, PHP to echo, that is reading whatever you say there. So if you say nothing, it's going to say, please don't be lame. I can't just say nothing. So if we go there and test it, I'll just echo this. Please don't be lame. I can't just say nothing. Oh, God. If I cannot tab, that's going to help. So if I give any of these symbols right here, it's going to say that phrase that we saw, right? Hey, mate, you seem to be using some characters that make me want to throw it back in your face. If you say cat, it's going to say meow. Well, you asked for cat, didn't you? That's the best impression you're going to get. So that's just to uh, prevent someone that would just simply go in cat index.php, like literally, or, or just like cat anything, I suppose. And if you um, have more than 15 characters, that's a mouth of an echo. So if I say, for example, please subscribe, that's more than 15 characters. And if you are able to pass all these conditions, it's going to call the system CMD. And the CMD, it's basically a command line of bash text C echo. The problem of this is that you can pass things to this echo and it will repeat it here. Now, when I when I went just ls, it shows the index.php, but this is nothing. That's not what we want. So we can, we can investigate the parent folders. If I go, um, I think that's cd, like so, no, 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 it's actually ls. Good. That's going to show me what's in the parent directory, and there is a flag.txt there. But if I just try to cat that flag, like I did here, that's more than 15 characters, so it's not going to allow me. There is one way you can um, overcome this situation, let's say, which is since you're using the bash c command and everything you're passing is going to echo, you can use the less than character. And then you go to the parent folder and get the file you want that's going to be echoed. So the flag.txt is going to be echoed. Therefore, oh, I used, I used, I used a character that I shouldn't be using. Flag.txt, and that's the one I want. There you go. So this gives me the flag. If I copy here, we'll see that it actually should work. Ah, I open this. Let's just do standard copy here. Paste. Submit query. And there you go. And to document this, what we could do is just go in our terminal here um, and repeat this command. Now instead of cat, cat index.php, what we want to do is echo equals to less than dot dot flag dot text and then I want to grab only I don't need to stack E anymore only the flag and that will be parsed to the flag dot text and I don't want the line number anymore that should work so if I cap my flag dot text there you go. So we got it documented. I can save this. And that's all you needed to know. So thanks for watching this video. It's a little web exploitation. I'm still learning, still playing some CTFs. It's been quite a fun challenge. 
hopefully i'll post more videos soon so please subscribe to this channel like this video and i'll see you next time and how do i exit this oh, okay like so bye